more and more questions about how to control, how to manage your energy, how to control the negative emotions, because in the stressful world it's so hard not to express these negative emotions. And sometimes people, they try to block these negative emotions. But what happened? Uh, can you imagine uh, the car uh, which moves very fast? For example, uh, 200 kilometers per hour, very fast. And what will happen if suddenly we will put, push the stop, um, the stop? Car accident. Because it's impossible to stop the car very fast if the car moves with such high speed. Do you agree with me? The same process happens inside us. Uh, when we already uh, feel these um, emotional, exalted emotions inside us, it's impossible just, okay, I made a decision to stop it and not to feel it. Not of course. It is too much difficult. Enlightened masters, they are learning how to do it many years before they start doing it. But how we can do? I will give you some recommendations. First of all, please don't try to stop to control your negative emotions immediately if you feel this like a bomb which is going to explosion. What we can do first step? First step is to observe. First step, observation. It's very important. Okay, I already in this moment, in this process, and I feel a lot of aggression, maybe negative emotions, judgment, and I hate all the world. What can I do? You can do nothing if you will not start to observe this process inside. So first, we observe. Okay, I have, this is already happening. What can I do now? Observation, observation, observation. This is the most important first step. And already during this first step, you will observe that, okay, in one, two, three, four minutes, something started to happen. Maybe this emotional power moved down. Maybe some relaxation to your body came. Maybe something else will happen. But this is the first step. The second step, or you can do it parallel, important to remove the energy which awakened inside you. I mean this emotional, huge, powerful energy. What does it mean to remove? It means to redirect to something else, not to somebody, but to something. For example, if you feel some person um, made some provocation and you feel this aggression, to him. But you understand that it's sin, it's bad to destroy this person with your emotional aggression power. But you can go, for example, somewhere to the forest. You can take the stick or you can take the stone and you can start to move actively. Or you can put the stick on the ground and say, it's enough. I don't want to feel my aggression. But you shout. You let this energy which already awakened inside you to transform. Or, very good exam example, the practice which is called Earth and Sky. This practice helps to transform the energy. The, this is the energy of fire. This is the most important to understand. The energy of fire we need it. If we don't have the fire energy inside us, we will not be able to achieve any purposes, any goals. Because exactly due to the energy of fire inside us, we could be successful. We could achieve our goals, we could materialize our wishes, we could do something. If we don't have the energy of fire, what will happen? We'll just sit, relax, do nothing, no motivation, no inspiration to life. No power to do, no power to act. You understand? That's why the fire element is very important for being success. But what we should learn from this life experience? How to transform the fire energy and to use it for some um, creation, not for destroying somebody or something, because through aggression we could destroy the person people whom we love, you know. But if we will redirect this energy of fire to some positive way, 
with, but with the same power of fire, we will be able to become magicians. It means to materialize our dreams, our purposes very quickly. This is my experience because I also have a lot of fire energy and those who know me, my students, they agree, I'm sure agree with me, that this fire helps me to move, not to sleep, not to stop, but be awakened and to continue my spiritual path and to help people every day, a lot of people every day. If I would not have the energy of fire, I will not be able to help people. That's why, my dear, please accept energy of fire, emotions, power of emotions. It's very important for our life mission. But through spiritual practices, through um, my help, you, ab you will be able to manage this emotional power and to achieve everything that you need in your life.